Hello, I'm Sarah Leverage, and for my Xenos project, I chose to do a 3D animatic of the song Dead Mom from Beetlejuice the Musical. I first started with a concept from my main model, Lydia, which I could later take into Maya and Blender to create a 3D model around. For my set, I chose to do a simple recreation of the Deets House stage iteration with some background props as well. I had started with a very small and quick storyboard, but I quickly ditched it since those scenes had to be cut in the end. I first started in Maya to block out the body of Lydia so I could easily sculpt it in Blender later. I did so the same things for the set and the props, but I added a little more detail to them so they wouldn't have to be sculpted and I could just paint textures on them later. In Blender, I added Lydia's head and completed all the details I had wanted, including the hair which had taken around 3 tries to do. But at this point, my model had become a little too detailed and decimating it became a problem. On top of this, I had vertex painted in Blender and it wasted a lot of time since I didn't realize I couldn't export the paints out of Blender and I had planned to do my animation in Maya. Decimating wasn't the only problem, I also couldn't create a UV map for my model in ZBrush. This is when Mr. Cho had helped me and created a workable UV map for my model in Maya. I quickly retextured my model in my entire set and it was finally time to begin the animation process in Maya. First I started with creating blend shapes that would allow me to animate her face in Maya. I had created mouth shapes for talking, four different raised and lowered eyebrows positions, and closing for the eyes for blinking. After all this was done, I began rigging my character, which I had to do by hand since Maya's auto rig desperately wanted her arms for her skirt. I then built the set and moved Lydia into her new home. I began all the mouth animation, and during this, I realized that I hadn't made the mouth shapes quite big enough for her speaking to be very noticeable, which would have been bad from er, farther distance. But at this point in time, I was too stressed out in time to go back and fix it. After this, I finally began the body animations, and I only had about 4-5 to five days to finish this project, so I was pretty stressed out. After a lot of struggling and me learning that Maya loved to crash after an hour of me not saving, I finally completed the animation. A lot of this wasn't to my standard though, so I took it into After Effects and tried my best to clean it up in post. There are still mistakes I couldn't fix in my animations, like the big black parts covering her head, but I had only noticed that after I had 3 days left and I had rendered out over a thousand frames already. If I could redo this project, I might more heavily debate doing a 2D animatic or spending less time and putting so much detail in models since a lot of it got lost along the way. I had added fingers to the model with hopes to animate them, but I couldn't exactly get them to transfer over when decimating the model for sculpting. I also would have spent more time looking at references to create more fluid and animated movements since a lot of the time they feel stiff. I'm still quite proud of this project since it's the longest I've done a 3D animation all by myself. While the model lost a lot of its beauty along the way, I'm still happy with how she looks. I hope you enjoyed and looked into my process. Thank you for watching.